Good morning. This is Bill from Auto Europe in Naples, and today I have this very useful and potent 2009 Mercedes-Benz ML550 all-wheel drive SUV. Uh, you know, the 550 is a cut above the V6 model uh, in terms of power, in terms of styling, and, uh, you know, look at the damn thing. What a good-looking car. I have to say, that is one of the most impressive-looking uh, front ends on a vehicle I've seen. You know, it looks like the bad guy from Tron. I hate to admit that I've seen that, but it, it you know, just is a very vicious-looking front end on that car. Mercedes and AMG did a fantastic job styling this thing. Uh, it's got 19-inch five-spoke wheels. It's got grommeted running boards. Uh, it has a rectangular AMG exhaust in the back, but the whole front end of that thing is just one bad looking mofo. Look at that uh, stainless, uh, you know, chunky treatment at the bottom of the AMG bumper, the big air intakes, the rectangular grill. Really, really attractive uh, front end on that car. And of course, the rest of it ain't bad either. Uh, this is a one owner car, finished in brilliant silver outside, terrific color combination. Uh, it's got black leather inside, which is great for an SUV. Uh, you know, if you're looking for a mom van, this is probably the most macho way to, to have one. Uh, you can see everything nice and proper all around. It's been very well kept. It's been uh, garaged, never smoked in. Uh, I love the stainless and the chrome treatment in the back. Very, very attractive. Uh, there's that uh, oval, uh, sorry, I said rectangular, but it is uh, oval AMG exhaust in the back. Uh, tires in great shape, nice and straight down both sides, all original paint. Uh, you got cargo bars on top and a sunroof and, you know, everything lovely. So let's start inside the hatch. That is a power lift gate, so it will open sesame for us. Uh, you can see everything nice back here. Hasn't been used to, you know, transport anything untoward. No big bags of mulch or well, maybe mulch, but they cleaned it up good. Certainly no engine blocks. Uh, here's a Harman Kardon sub. You can see it's still got the cargo cover in the back, which is nice. Half the time those bloody things are messing. Uh, those rear seats do fold down. You got all these convenient little uh, tie-down areas there, so if you want to secure your cargo, no problem. So everything nice and as it should be in the back. Push that to get it down, and we're good to go. Have a look under the hood. Truly one of the most impressive things with this SUV. So in here is a 5.5 liter V8. Uh, puts out about 382 horsepower. It's just a torque monster. When you hammer this thing, it really responds. Uh, really goes down the road incredibly well. I want to say zero to 60 time is 5.4. Uh, and quarter mile 14 uh, at uh, over 100, which is incredible figures for a big 5,000 pound SUV. A uh, very substantial piece, and it just gets up and moves. Uh, that's made it do a uh, manual, uh, well, it's not manual, manual shiftable automatic. Uh, you know, seven speed, very nice, gives you good gas mileage when you're just cruising, and uh, just a terrific drivetrain under the hood of this car. Mercedes V8s are always great. There's up top, you see the roof and those uh, good looking nickel uh, finished bars. All right, well, I'll show you the back seat first, then we'll get in the front. Uh, you can see nice and proper here, and leather's in great shape, never been beat up or chewed on. Uh, you know, not a bunch of kids having Happy Meal Wars. Uh, just everything lovely. Uh, fit and finish, very, very nice. You've got the burl trim with the chrome tips. Just a super, uh, you know, amount of quality goes into the construction of these things. And, of course, the same up here. I love the burl and the chrome, your power windows, your locks, your trunk release. You see it's got the Harman Kardon sound. Uh, it's got the power seat with uh, lumbar and such, uh, automatic headlights, multifunction leather steering wheel, and uh, just everything super nice. So let's hop in. Now, one thing these bastards did to me today is they gave me a car without fuel in it. Drives me absolutely nuts. You know, for God's sake, why do I have to be the only guy who puts fuel in these cars? Well, for some reason, I do. Uh, there you see just under 80 on the clock, 79.9. So uh, we can still say miles in the 70s. Very nice uh, instrument cluster there, properly laid out. So you got your flippity paddles there. And uh, I think this has voice command as well. So if we go over here, let's say activating voice control activate away 
could that be? I mean, radical as it may sound, a good I don't know. Hasn't activated it. Anyway, we'll figure that out later. Uh, you can see it's got uh, all your multifunction displays there. You can go through you know your various different settings change things uh over here you've got mercedes-benz command unit that gives you your uh, am fm uh, radio of course weather band let's see what the weather is satellite keep going there's your am all right let's see temperature 80 degrees 80 it doesn't feel like 80 it feels about 107 temperature 78 degrees at Key West, lies. partly cloudy. Temperature 84 degrees. Breakfast of lies. Okay, over here we've got uh, your navigation. Very, very nice. You can go up and scroll through the menus in different ways. Uh, there's your um, audio menu that gives you, um, you know, memory card, auxiliary, satellite radio, disc, so on and so forth. Uh, it also does have a backup camera. Very, very nice. So you'll be able to see what's behind you. You got place for a memory card there, your in dash CD changer. Uh, down here, we got some climate control. Let's get a little bit of that going. Uh, heated seats, uh, electronic stability protection, uh, hill descent and ascent. That's nice. That uh, helps you get up and down steep inclines without too much trouble. And uh, everything nice and proper and as it should be. All right, here you got a self dimming mirror, garage door opener, your home link. Nice big power sunroof there. Let in some of that nasty Florida humidity. We'll close that right away. And everything good to go. So let's go for a spin. Now to do that, what we're gonna do is push down on this little guy here. Uh, it's kind of like the modern version of the shifter on your dad's, you know, 79 Buick. Uh, but it's nice because it gives you this whole area here to use for your cup holders and whatever else. You don't have it clogged up with a shifter. Tell you there's a nice menacing growl to this car as you leave you know yeah you may be transporting the kids to taekwondo or something but uh man you can do it fast in this car you can do it with a real menacing growl uh goes down the road beautifully you know you well, what you'd expect from a well-kept uh, low mileage car that's been uh, that's just been well looked after um you know the tires are nice and proper there's good tread on them they're quiet great steering great brakes oh yeah <laughs> lots and lots of torque so uh when you hit it this thing really flies and of course it's all-wheel drive and true all-wheel drive very substantial uh that'll get you through just about any driving conditions you're faced with snow mud sleet you name it uh you know this thing's going to be fantastic uh, you know navigating them so look if you have an interest give us a call uh 2009 ml 550 amg sport uh 239-649-7300 on the web at mercedesexpert.com thanks so much for having a look we really appreciate it we're gonna put a little fuel in this thing head into work and i'll crack some damn heads <laughs> i should have been putting gas in the car oh they're fine i'm sure they'll remember in the next one thanks again we'll see you with the next one take care